Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Gardening with Satya. Today our learning session is going to be on growing various kinds of peas like snow peas, sugar snap peas, green peas, etc. Few of the viewers asked for this video, so watch, learn and enjoy. It's one of the very easy to grow plant. I will also give you few tips on the growing medium and the benefits of growing these in the raised beds and also in the containers and I will also share information on how to get the more harvest from these plants. First let's talk about the growing medium and growing conditions. The peas prefer loose well drained soil. It needs about 6 hours of sunlight per day and it doesn't like too much hot conditions. Once the temperature crosses between 80 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit then the plants will not perform well and it will stop producing the peas and at that time I leave some peas on the plant to harvest the seeds for the next season. The plants will die down eventually and I add those dried leaves and twigs in the compost bin. So we should plant these about 3 to 4 weeks before the last frost date for your zone. If you have shorter duration of mild weather in your area, then plant these in the shade area of your garden. That way you can harvest peas for little longer duration. You can plant them during the beginning of the fall season as well, depending on the weather in your zone. In June 8, Frisco, I generally harvest the peas planted in the fall until about mid-December to late December. I generally plant the peas in all the raised beds where I have trellis for them to climb. Once my other annuals are ready to climb on the trellis, the peas will die down due to warm weather in my June 8 and I use the same trellis for growing my annual vegetables. At the same time, these plants bring lot of benefits to the soil in the raised beds or containers. It's kind of nitrogen fixer for the soil. Its root system generates the nitrogen in the soil and the other plants in the raised beds will be benefited with this process. You can use grow bags as well to grow these as long as you can provide some support for these plants to climb. Let's talk about how to start these plants. Peas doesn't like their roots to be disturbed so it is best to start them directly in the raised beds or use biodegradable starter pots if you have extended winter weather in your zone. Just soak the seeds for about 12 to 24 hours in the lukewarm water and then plant those. The soaking method will make the seeds to germinate faster. If you need more information on the seed germination technique, Please watch the video on my channel. I have added the link in the description for that as well. In about a week, you will see the tiny plants coming through. In about one more week, the plant will start growing faster. At that time, if you can feed the banana peel powder, it will have good start and if you don't know how to make the banana peel powder, just watch the three basics feeds video on my channel. I have added the link in the description for this as well. 
if we can provide the support they will climb faster and keeps growing good and if it is not branching out just trim the new growth and it will branch out good and it will yield more fruits also another trick with peas is the more we harvest the more fruits it will yield another good thing with peas is you can harvest at any stage you can also eat straight from the plant and snack on those remember to harvest every day and don't let the peas to mature on the plant also remember to always use scissors to harvest the peas don't pull them off the plant as it will damage the plant if the peas matures on the plant then the plant will work on those pods for seeds and it will stop producing the peas on the plant so keep that in mind let's discuss on what to feed the plants to grow it stronger if your raised bed has healthy compost and if you have earthworm friends in the bed that is more than enough if not we can feed earthworm tea as per the directions on the label always feed banana peel powder at the starting stage of the plant and feed epsom salt when the pods are starting to form there are lots of varieties of peas and some are string free also if you don't like to remove the strings from the ends also there are purple color peas and the flowers will be bright and it adds nice color to your garden as well you can snack on the peas straight from the plant and my kids and myself snack on those straight in the garden just by rinsing off in the garden you can use the peas in the stir fry if you harvest them when they are soft and tender you can also use them in the fried rice or you can use the peas inside as well try to use those within 2 to 3 three hours of harvesting them if you keep it longer on the counter then they will start losing the sweetness hope you all learned something new and happy gardening if you like this video like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you all in the next video